to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. Today I'm going to be talking you through on how to achieve this very fun green and gold glitter spring cut crease. I'm very excited to share this look with you. It turned out very beautiful and I think that it's a very fun and glam look to rock for spring. I hope that you enjoy and if you want to know how to get the look and rock it, keep on watching and I'll walk you through it. We're gonna do things a little bit differently than we usually do. We're just gonna do one eye. So let's get into it. So we got to prime the eyes. So we're going to use the Wet n Wild Come Correct Celebrity Concealer and Fair. We're going to use this as our eyeshadow base. It doesn't take much, so just take a little dot of that and blend it all over the eyeshadow. All over your eyelids, excuse me. Since this concealer is really thick as well, I'm going to go ahead and set it. You always want to set it, no matter how thin your um, eyeshadow bases because it will crease. I'm taking Thrash from the Urban Decay Electric Palette, very bright neon yellow, and with the Sigma E40, we're gonna blend this above our natural crease. So, my natural crease is right here, it's very low. So, we're gonna blend a little bit above that. I'm gonna blend this back and forth in the crease. I'm just going back and forth until the eyeshadow is thoroughly blended. And then you want to kind of wing it out with the brush. Taking the NYX Individual Eyeshadow in this shade Kush, I'm going to take a Sigma Angled Brow. This is the uh, E65 Small Angle. I'm going to take some of that eyeshadow. And we're going to draw out where we want that crease line to be. So we've already done this eye. So you want to kind of, you want to mimic it and make sure that we can actually make the lines as even as possible. Still going a little bit over the natural crease. You just want to draw that little shape there. I'm going to go over it a few times to define it. Next, I'm taking a um, Real Techniques base eyeshadow brush. I'm going to take a little bit of Kush. We don't want a lot. I'm going to go and blend out the edges of the shadow and just run it through the crease where we drew out our crease line. Now I'm taking the Makeup Geek Single Shadow in the shade Dirty Martini and I'm going to use a Sigma Small Angle E65 brush. And we're going to go over that same area where we applied Kush. We're just going with the darker colors. Taking the Real Techniques um, base eyeshadow brush, I'm taking a little bit of Dirty Martini, a very light amount. And we're gonna go ahead and blend out that line. You don't have to blend it completely, but to where it isn't as harsh. Going in with my Sigma E65 small angle and still using Dirty Martini, I'm gonna go over that line and define it. Not using too much of a product because I still wanna keep it pretty soft and blended. I'm taking that Real Techniques Space Eyeshadow Brush I'm using no extra product. I'm just gonna run through that very quickly and blending it out. So now it is time to actually make the cut crease. I'm taking a um, Tarte Concealer Brush and the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair. The reason I'm using this concealer is it's very liquidy, so it's easy to actually carve out and move um, the concealer around on the eyes compared to using a very thick concealer that's a little bit hard and won't budge as well. So that is why I'm using a very thin, liquidy concealer. We're just basically going off of this by the other eye. You wanna make it the same, so I'm gonna start by blending this all over. And we're gonna slowly, all right there. Once we get the height that we want, we can then go in and We're just following the line. I did mess up just a little bit. Went up a little too high and got crazy. Going back into the Sigma E65 Small Angle and Dirty Martini for Makeup Geek. We're gonna take it and you wanna go along the cut crease and redefine the line. It's gonna be Real Techniques uh, Base Eyeshadow Brush and a little bit of Dirty Martini. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this dark line out. Now it's time for the really fun part, taking the NYX Glitter Primer and a Real Techniques Little Smudger Brush. I'm gonna take some of that product on there and we're gonna 
pat it wherever the concealer is. Now I'm going to take some MAC Fix Plus and spray, the, spray it on the brush. And I'm gonna take some NYX Face and Body Glitter in the shade Gold and we're going to apply it everywhere we applied the glitter primer. Now I'm going back into Makeup Geek Stringy Martini with the Sigma E65 Angled Brow. And I'm going to go and redefine that green line. The glitter somewhat kind of took that away, the definition of that crease line away, so I'm going back in. And we're going to blend out that green line one more time, so I'm taking my Real Techniques base eyeshadow brush with a little bit of Dirty Martini. Tapping a little bit of the excess off because you don't want an overload in the product and blending out the edge of that green because we can have no harsh eyeshadow up in here. Now, it is time for winged eyeliner. I recommend using a liquid eyeliner when you're working with glitter on the lid because it will glide over it easy, more easier and if you were using like a felt tip eyeliner it would most likely not glide along the eyelid as well and all the glitter would attach to that felt tip. I'm using the NYC, it's literally like two dollars. I have heard some people have some concerns about it not even being able to find the product anymore like it totally just disappeared. I'm not sure how that's going on right now. Um, I had this before that happened, so whatever drugstore uh, liquid eyeliner you have, that'll just do fine. So let's get into it and get it over with. Quick snack. Croutons. You think it's weird? I think it's delicious. I'm going to go ahead and get the lining of the lash line over with. So I'm going to take the NYC liquid eyeliner, like I said just a minute ago, I'm going to go ahead and line that lash line. As you go into the inner corner, it needs to start out very, very thin. So I like the wing to actually follow with the line of the cut crease. So what I usually like to do is follow the edge of the glitter. All right, so I drew a line and I tapered the amount of pressure that I put as I got to the end of the line. While the eyelash glue is getting a little bit tacky on the lashes, I'm going to go ahead and just move on to the face and we can start prepping and priming. I'm going to actually use two foundation primers today, one to smooth out and one to illuminate the skin. So we're gonna start off with the NYX Angel Veil Foundation Primer. I haven't really paid attention to how effective it is in actually keeping your foundation on, but what I love about it so much is that it literally makes your pores disappear. Gone, bam, done. I'm going to move on to the Becca Backlight Priming Filter to illuminate the skin. I take about a pump of the product and apply most of it to the cheeks, or just this part of the face. To help me achieve flawless complexion, I'll be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in 1C1 Cool Bone. And I'm just going to blow this out with my damp pink closure. To cover up my under eye circles and to highlight the skin, I'll be using my Wet n Wild Come Correct Celebrity Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm going to apply a little bit of this. It does not take much whatsoever. And I'm going to blend out my damp beauty blender. almost forgot about the lashes sitting over here and they are for sure a little bit tacky by now. I'll be using the uh, Kiss lashes. These are the faux mink lashes, the Lash Couture lashes, and this is in the style Gala. 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 To add some glow to the skin, I'll be using the Makeup Revolution Vivid Highlighter in the shade Golden Lights, and to apply it, I'll be using a Morphe G23 Fan Brush. Mm -hmm. 
So my concealer doesn't crease, I'm going to set it, and as always, I'm using the Airspun Translucent Base Powder and Translucent Extra Cover. I'm going to use a um, Sigma F25 Tapered Base Brush. I'm going to take a little bit of that and lightly set the under eyes so that it doesn't crease. I'm going to add some warmth to the skin, so I'm going to apply the Chanel Soleil Universal Bronzer. I'm going to use a Sigma F40 Large Gold Contour to apply that. I'm going to apply a little bit up here. Whoa. Kind of got intense up there. I'm going to go in with my Lorac Pro Contour Palette and using this light contour shade right here, I'm going to... What brush am I going to use, guys? What brush? I'm just actually going to dust it across with a Japanese contouring highlighting brush from a Kimidori collection. We're not doing anything major contour, any major contouring, but you just want to lightly set it so it doesn't slide around on your face through the day. I want to. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the eyes, so I'm going to take Mega Geek Studio Martini and a Sigma E70 Medium Angle Shading Brush, taking a little bit of this and smoking out the lower lash line. I'm going to take that Makeup Revolution highlighter and I'm going to take my pinky finger and apply that in the inner corner. Now we do need to add some color to the face. I'm going in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay um, Blush Palette. This is the Color Real Palette. And I'm going to take, I actually haven't decided yet, but there's so many colors to choose from. So what are we going to use today? Let's go ahead and use Iconic right here. This very pretty shade with a Real Techniques um, tapered blush brush. Take a little bit of that. Very pigmented blushes, so it doesn't take much. To blend the lashes together, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This is in Carbon Black, and I'm going to apply this on the upper lashes. Nothing too much. And I'm going to apply it on the bottom lashes as well. For the lips, I'm going to finish it off with the NYX Nude Lips Lip Kit. So this comes with a lip liner, um, it either comes with like a lipstick or a soft matte lip cream, and then a lip gloss, usually. Um, so for the lip liner, it comes with the NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Medium, so I'm going to line my lips with that. We're gonna continue. I'm gonna use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the style, not the style, the shade Cairo. So like definitely if I didn't have a bold eye, this would like make me look sick. Okay, we're gonna finish it off with the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss that it came with in Sugar Pie. Um, so, so we're going to finish off the makeup with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. It is a 3-in-1 spray, it primes, corrects, and sets, but we're just going to finish it off, finish our makeup off with it. So let's douse ourselves in this stuff. <sighs> it smells so good and it's just very refreshing. And that completes it for this look. I hope that you enjoy. I love you all so much. Don't forget that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are beautiful. You are awesome. Jesus loves you and I love you. Hope you have an amazing day. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.